time, everybody clap your hands. Good morning, everybody. Today, I am trying to locate my debit card and my ID. We got back from Lake Tahoe, Reno, the state of Nevada a couple days ago. Yeah, today's Tuesday, yeah, a couple days ago. And I've been carrying my purse around and pretty much assuming that my debit card is in there. And ouch, and it's not. So, send help. I just sent Ryan this text message saying, I have no idea where my debit card and my ID is. And the only place that I had it was in Tahoe. And I am like 1000% certain that it's lost, right? And then I remembered, oh wait, we had went to Tahoe and I had decided to put it in this jacket because I didn't want to take a purse with me. And this jacket has like multiple pockets and it also fit my camera because I was vlogging the whole trip. If you guys are watching this video now, you already know that. And now I am certain, I am certain that my debit card's in here. And guess what? Ta-da! Along with my ID. I am so much drama, you guys. Like, so much drama that it's ridiculous. Okay, so after being dramatic, I better go tell Ryan that, I'm just kidding, I found it. It's exactly where I left it. Okay, so as I'm waiting for my garage to close, I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about what I am up to. Um, it is 10.47. I got up earlier this morning and I was like working from home getting a lot of things done which has been really really effective for me just kind of getting things done before the kids wake up and stuff like that for work work because a lot of my work is from home and also I wanted to be out of the house in like a timely manner which is working out really really well because in my opinion it is definitely a timely manner and I'm getting out of the house so where I am headed today, gotta get my sunglasses out. Where I am headed today is to my brother's car lot. We bought this SUV a while back. It's a 2008 Buick Enclave. And the Buick has been a very, very, very nice vehicle for us. However, I think it's time for it to go to another family and for it to be loved on by another family. Therefore, we wanna sell it, perhaps trade it in. I can't see if my brightness is good or not with my sunglasses on. Okay, that's better. So we want to trade it in but we don't want to trade it in we just kind of want to sell it to a third party like on the internet or something but i don't know if you guys know or not but where we're from there's this like big ginormous car lot called carmax well you can get it appraised there we got it appraised and we don't like the price that they appraised it for which we understand why they did it like we're not questioning it but we don't like the price that we got it appraised for and let me show you why it appraised for lower than we wanted it to that little thing right there that is the it's basically telling me that my tire pressure is low which it's not low because i have gone multiple times to the place that we got this from to get it fixed and pretty much now what's happened after i went to the tire place we went to my brother's car lot and basically the sensor the sensor gauge thingy for the tire pressure is broken it's no no longer working it's a couple hundred dollars to fix that but the biggest biggest thing is this right here that's not working sometimes like if i bang on it. sorry if that was loud sometimes if i bang on it it will come on but you don't know how many miles you have driven how many miles a vehicle has currently you don't know what the temperature is outside which isn't going to kill us you don't know if you need an oil change any of that stuff so that is why we are not getting like the value of this car so i'm actually on my way to my brother's car lot this morning to see um how much or how much work I guess it's going to be for him to fix the cluster that's what it's called like the whole area up there to see how much the cluster is gonna cost to fix and if, and if it's even worth fixing it and if not my brother said that he would give me like a little bit more than what Carmax had said and um, I can trade in this for something that he has at the car lot or he can go to auction for us to be able to get us something. Yesterday after CarMax, what we ended up doing was we drove over to Subaru because we're in the market for like definitely a third row seat SUV because it's like kind of nice to be able to have like the kids be able to have their friends kind of hop on in the car with us if, as they get older rather than like having to take two vehicles somewhere. So it's nice to have like seven seater including the driver. There's also an option for a third row. Um, no, there's also an option for eight passenger, which Subaru has, which pretty much the seats and the, there's Silas's car seats behind me. And then that one next to me, obviously, but right in the middle is, these are called captain's chairs, but there's going to be a seat in the middle. And I kind of was looking at those because then 
all of the kids can have like a friend go with them if we go somewhere and also the back part could be like a bigger trunk space so I'm kind of like really researching what vehicle I want the good thing is that this vehicle the cluster has been broken ever since we pretty much bought this vehicle it was definitely a used one and we got a great deal on it and it's given us so much mileage and we've made so many memories in it but it's time for it to go so long story short I'm going to the car lot trying to figure out how much it's gonna cost to get this fixed and then Ryan should be done working by that time and we're gonna powwow and see where we go from here update leaving my brother's car lot in case you guys are local and are wanting to purchase a vehicle plug American Auto Depot is my brother's car lot the mechanic looked at it I'm gonna get out and it's a hundred dollars for the cluster so we're gonna order it and get it fixed so I'll keep you guys in the loop but right now I grabbed a sister-in-law who works for the brother and we're gonna go out to lunch Yay! <laughs> one of the best time of the day the second one is when I'm going home <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh this is look at there's a car right there there's a car right there car right there there's car everywhere. everywhere I just survived a very brutal yet successful Walmart trip it's 228 and my kids get out of school at 2.35, so I'm actually, I had called Ryan earlier and told him to grab the twins, but to be quite honest with you, I think I can grab them myself. So I'm gonna call him really quickly, tell him I got it, and go get my babies. I got my sweet gentleman from school. Their backpacks are so heavy, I feel bad for them. They have laptops and ah, and everything else in there. Oh yeah, that might help, huh, since your hands are full, sorry. All right. I got two things for you, one, two. Here is my damage from the store with Easter stuff. I actually bought these, they were $1.98, but it actually comes with a golden egg, so this is like the first year I've seen it come with a golden egg. So we got this, and then I got some stuff for our Sunday school over here also. Each of my children are gonna get 20 eggs this year, and that's it. I don't even know what to fill them up with. Honestly, they don't really eat candy, so I'm wondering if I should just close these up and hide them, and they can like get empty eggs. Yay! See? <laughs> Update on this area. If you guys followed me on Instagram, you've already seen this, but I completely took all of the books that we have and placed them in a basket along with there. I need to find a home for it. I actually want somebody to get them and take them from me if they want them. So they're there and this is all just replaced with this like this. And my very thoughtful thing that I did was like, Ryan likes to come home and unload all of his junk. So what I bought him is this thing here for his items to go inside of it, well, saying for a friend. And guess where the items are? Outside of it. I thought I was gonna use it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, get in the habit of just putting it in here. So this kind of stays here. That's my fake eucalyptus leaves. I need to fix those a little bit. And this is my, this. if this isn't, if you guys know me, this is totally me. As long as everything is going, or. As long as everything is exactly the way I want it to be, I can be totally flexible. That's that. And then also I wanted to tell you guys that I ended up eating at this restaurant called... Ryan, what is that restaurant called? Well, well. No, it's Churchy something. Oh, Church Keys. Church Keys. Um, so I ate at Church Keys and I had this yummy, yummy, yummy Caesar salad. Chicken Caesar salad. It was delicious. Hi, Bobby. Careful, my phone's in my pocket. I'm getting a big hug. So did, you go, did you go drink? No, I went to have lunch with no. I went to have lunch with Sue and mommy. No, but when, when you went Oh, I didn't go out last night for margaritas. No, I got lazy. I was invited over with two of my friends to go for margaritas for my birthday, which was last Monday, and I got lazy. I went upstairs. I told Ryan I was gonna make a phone call and situate this, and I come back downstairs with PJs on, and he's like. Uh, you're not going? I was like, no, I'm going like this. I ended up playing cards with um, Ryan Matthew and Nana Joe and myself. So that was actually my ideal Monday evening. Um, I'm home now, I think just for a little bit. It's almost going to be 3 and Silas gets out of school at 3.30. So I got to pick him up 
And I think my mom wants one of the kids, not the twins today. So maybe Silas, but my two nephews are over there because my older nephew is getting, um, he's doing his handwritten test over at the Department of Motor Vehicles for him to potentially do his behind the wheel test for him to get his driver's license. So I, I don't know if maybe Silas will go, maybe he, I don't know what's going on, but I gotta pick him up at 3.30. I have a few things to do around the house for right now and We'll see you in a little bit. Lately, I've been feeling like a walking, talking taxi. Not complaining. I'm grateful that I can actually have a. Ah! I'm grateful. Ah, I'm trying to get good lighting. I'm grateful that I can actually have the flexibility of a job and things of that nature to be able to go and get my children just back and forth from school and stuff. Side note, you guys, Ryan threw out his back. I don't know if you guys know or not, but he has two herniated discs from like years ago before I even met him. And yesterday he coughed and he threw out his back. So he's laid out on the ground. He actually has to go to work at four o'clock again, but he came home and he's just laying on the ground for a little bit and hopes that it's gonna like relax it. But he'll be um, kind of interesting to see how long it takes for him to feel better. The twins are playing outside. I gotta make sure that I don't run any kids over as I pull out of my driveway. I'm grateful for my backup cameras. Malachi has a question. Oh, you're good? Okay, love you. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Bye. Hi. Did you see mommy? Yeah. The backup here at you at Oh, you did? Oh my gosh, Bubby. A splinter. Uh, something so small. Oh, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? Cut it off. Oh, yeah. It's not the thumb, is it? No, no. it's safe. Then. You talked him into a band aid. <laughs> he loves band-aids. He said, well, he was playing in the sandbox in the morning, uh -huh. and I guess he was going like that. With the oh, shovel. yeah, yeah. And I guess it had like a, a little cut, I don't know, and then it was just a little small cut. Nothing. Oh. And then he didn't hire anything, so. You're okay? Can I scan him? Yeah. Oh, oh. It went actually, away. our internet is not working at the moment. And oh. We're having trouble, so it's going to be. Scanner will work. Scanner will work. Oh, yeah. Will work. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Never mind. So oh. sorry. That's okay. Look at the brown one next to you. It's beautiful, huh? It grew. It grew? Yeah. <laughs> huh, you're right. Are you ready, Silas? All right. Your day was good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, your boys didn't go to Nani's house today. Um, yeah, they were supposed your boys were supposed to go to Nani's house today, but they're not gonna be able to go today because cousin Aaron. He's gonna maybe get his driver's license. What? Yeah, so he went to go take a test today. Uh -huh. And if he passes the test, mm -hmm. then he'll get his then he gets to drive behind a wheel of a vehicle and get his driver's license. So Nani's watching. Guess who's he watch guess who's Nani's watching? Ellen. No, he went to go get his driver's license. So who do you think he's watching? The boy. Yeah, no. Think about it. Excuse me. Where are you going? Uh -huh. Yeah. Where's your hands? Where's your hands? Not that hand. No, no, no. We're right here. Can I Just... have the No, it's okay. So he's watching baby Jacob. And oop, this way. Are you new? <laughs> Did you forget? Bobby. No, because Kibu's sleeping. Then where's the crib? In Nani's bed. Nani's getting Nani's getting baby cuddles. Baby cuddles. You're hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did your friends miss you? Mm -hmm. mm, you didn't ask. Oh, thanks. Got it. Um, can you tell the boys know what's running on my point of finger? <laughs> yes. Okay, arms in. I can get it up on myself, but somebody needs to pull it. Okay. You can do it by yourself, but somebody needs to pull it? Uh-huh. So, your pointer finger has a very big cut? No. Just a little one? Uh-huh. Okay. 
but the end mm -hmm. is really big. Oh my goodness. I really missed you. You know why? Because we had a whole week together. Mm -hmm. And you even, when we went to Tahoe, you were cuddling with mommy. We slept together. You spent the night in my bed at the hotel. And then you left me the whole day. The finger hurt. It's a little bit in the way, huh? Guess what? <laughs> Your boys are playing outside with daycare kids. So, guess what we're going to do? What? Yeah, you sound so excited. My hair is a whole mood today. Look at this. I've been actually taking biotin. I got it from Amazon and biotin? a vitamin. And mommy has got some vitamin. What? <laughs> you know what a vitamin is. Mm -hmm. What's a vitamin? I don't know. You take it every morning. I don't know. You're telling me you don't know what a vitamin is, but you take it every single day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay, we're ready to go home. Air conditioner or windows down? Windows down. Yeah. That's my boy. What song were we just singing? What song was that? What did they say? Mm. Pour some sugar on me. <laughs> See, I don't need no sugar on me. More witty sweet. Huh? Don't do that. Hey. I have a question. What snacky snack do you want? Uh, I want fruit. You want a fruit? Actually, I don't. How about the ice cream? The popsicle in the refrigerator. It's a perfect day for it. Yeah. Okay, out you go. Is it really hot? Right now? It's yeah. perfect. Come on down, your highness. Oh, I did not have the <laughs> window. Oh, yeah, it was down. All right. You're free, my love. You are free. Look at all this fun things happening over here. Bikes, scooters, more bikes, helmet, scooter, things. Oh my gosh, you guys. Playing outside with the kids is so fun. But by the time we come back inside, my hands. There's so much stuff in my hands. I am... No, you guys need to clean up a little bit. But you can in a little bit. It's super fun, don't get me wrong, but by the time we come back in, I'm like, oh my god. Maybe I should start taking a couple of trips inside and outside and inside and outside before we finally make our departures. I don't know how birds do it when they're traveling south for the winter. Like, maybe I would be better off being a bird because, you know, I wouldn't have to take all the things with me. I would just flap my wings and be gone. So... Okay. The boys had got the foosball table when we were over in Reno. Was this in Reno? Yeah, Reno, Tahoe. I think Reno. And they're excited about playing with it. This bad baby was 1,500 tickets. It's a lot, but... Silas, are you having fun? Yeah. We were upstairs doing laundry and my nephew called. And he wanted to come over, which was random. I was like, why? Honey, got his driver's license. He got his driver's license. And then his parents got him this truck today. This is so cool. I'm more. Hey, proud of you. I'm going to look at your car instead. Holy cow. How am I going to get up here? It's like. Look at the difference. Oh my gosh. Look. Oh, you're locked. Oh, Jacob. He's busy. Jake or Sam had to put Silas up there because he can't get up there. This is so cool. This is cousin Aaron's truck, Silas. You're going nowhere. You got no car seat. The police is gonna get you first. You might not make it. It's not safe. That is so cool, Aaron. I used to change Aaron's diaper. <laughs> and now he just got his driver's license. Oh my gosh. Bye. I love you. Bye. That is so cool that he wanted to drive over here and show me that. All right, guys, that ends today's vlog. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. Hey, everybody. Everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Until next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, time. let's go.